Aristotle's philosophy is a profound and intricate tapestry woven from various metaphysical, physical, and logical threads. His approach to understanding reality is not just an assemblage of scientific hypotheses, but rather a holistic system that integrates ethics, metaphysics, logic, and natural philosophy. At the heart of Aristotle's ontology, the study of being is the distinction between substance and accidents. Substance to Aristotle is the essence of a thing, that which makes a thing what it is. This is contrasted with accidents, which are properties or characteristics that a substance has, but which do not define the substance's essence. For example, the essence of a table, its substance, is to be a flat-topped, leg-supported structure for holding objects, whereas its color or size, its accidents, may vary without changing its essence as a table. Aristotle's explanation of how things come to be, and why, is framed in his theory of the four causes, material cause, formal cause, efficient cause, and final cause. Material cause refers to the substance that something is made from. For a bronze statue, the material cause is the bronze itself. Formal cause is the form or pattern of a thing, its essence or archetype. For the statue, this is the shape or design of the statue as envisioned by the sculptor. Efficient cause is the primary source of the change or coming to rest. In the case of the statue, it is the sculptor's act of sculpting. Final cause is the purpose or end for which a thing exists. For the statue, it might be to commemorate an individual or to display artistic beauty. Central to Aristotle's metaphysics is the distinction between potentiality and actuality. Everything in the world, according to Aristotle, is in a state of potentiality, possessing the potential to change, or actuality, the fulfillment of that potential. A seed, for example, has the potential to become a tree. The tree is the actualization of the seed's potential. The unmoved mover, or the first cause, is a fundamental principle in Aristotle's metaphysics. Aristotle argues that everything in motion must have been set in motion by something else. This leads to a logical dilemma. If every motion is caused by a prior motion, then there must either be an infinite regression of movers, which seems implausible, or there must be a starting point, a primary mover that itself is not moved by anything else. This primary mover is what Aristotle calls the unmoved mover. The unmoved mover is described as being purely actual, without any potentiality. This means it is a being of pure form, without matter, and hence it cannot physically move or change. Although the unmoved mover does not move physically, it is the cause of all motion in the universe. Aristotle likens this to the way a beloved object might move a person to action by being desirable, rather than by physically moving them. The unmoved mover is the ultimate source of all motion because it is eternally desirable and perfect. The unmoved mover is central to Aristotle's conception of the universe. It provides a necessary terminus to the otherwise problematic infinite regression of causes and is fundamental to understanding the purpose and direction of all motion and change in the universe. While Aristotle's contributions to logic and ethics remain influential, his physical theories have been largely superseded by modern science. Newtonian physics, for instance, replaced the Aristotelian framework with a mechanistic understanding of the universe, governed by universal laws of motion and gravitation. While Aristotle's contributions to logic and ethics remain influential, his physical theories have been largely superseded by modern science. Newtonian physics, for instance, replaced the Aristotelian framework with a mechanistic understanding of the universe, 
governed by universal laws of motion and gravitation.